And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Saturday morning showing uh, VFR here under developing high pressure over the central interior, extending all the way up to the central Arctic coast, south central Alaska, with marginal VFR to the east, marginal VFR to the west, and areas of marginal VFR here over the Bering Sea becoming a little more solid and then transforming into IFR. Head of the next system there, pushing into the western Aleutians, southeast coast, marginal VFR with areas of IFR. And for the afternoon, marginal VFR from Dixon entrance right on up across Yakutat to the eastern Copper River Basin and the interior here. VFR, some marginal VFR up here to the north and that area extending back and thickening here into the Bering Sea, extending all the way down to Cape Newenham, but south of there from Kodiak Island all the way down toward the eastern Aleutians or across the eastern Aleutians, VFR, then marginal VFR, Adak and Atka, and some IFR out here farther to the west. And that area increases out there and edges eastward, at least to Amchitka Island. Another band of uh, IFR here from northwest to southeast along the southwest coast there between St. Matthew and St. Lawrence Island, coming right into uh, western Togiak Bay. Marginal VFR over much of the west and southwest interior, some IFR up here to the north, and the Arctic coast uh, not too shabby as well as the north slope. And we've got uh, Sunday morning still VFR, actually throwing Kodiak Island, Cook Inlet, and much of south central Alaska eastward across the Copper River Basin from Whittier to Yakutat VFR and marginal VFR for the southeast coast. And for Sunday afternoon, that all burns off here for a sunny afternoon, or at least in part, at least a VFR day for the southeast coast for the afternoon Sunday, back into uh, southern Alaska here. Marginal VFR along the Alaska Range, then good VFR over the northern interior, all the way out to the Arctic Ocean. West side of the state, marginal VFR that extends into the Bering Sea, northward here, all the way up to uh, Cape Lisbon, and IFR with that big storm coming into the western Aleutians. And for uh, passes tomorrow, Anatuvik and Adigan, both uh, mostly IFR throughout the day. And Lake Clark and Merrill, good VFR. Rainy also VFR uh, flying for Saturday. Rainy look, or windy looking good, VFR. Isabel, same forecast, VFR. Mentasta, lingering marginal VFR at times for Mentasta Pass. Otherwise, back to VFR for Tanita. Portage, same forecast, VFR. Chilkoot and White uh, hanging on to IFR conditions throughout most of the day. And for the freezing levels here, 2,000 feet south of the Dixon entrance, across Queen Charlotte Islands at the surface there, right across the south, south coast of the Panhandle and westward to Kodiak Island. And just a little south here, the Alaska Peninsula, and then back to the north, well to the north out here over the Western Bering Sea, 2,000 feet uh, still south of uh, the Western Aleutians. And for icing, three areas of potential icing uh, in store for the state on Saturday. One up here to the north, another one out here over the western Aleutians, and the third one here from the southeast interior down across the Panhandle. And from there, looking at the jet stream, strongest jet here at 33,000 feet to the south, blowing right into the Queen Charlotte Islands, just clipping southern Prince of Wales Island and a low at this elevation over the eastern north gulf coast and behind that west northwest flow not all that strong for this elevation but up to 85 knots there for the bering strait and west about 65 knots for the north slope and arctic coast light winds high pressure here over the bering sea with uh, 145 knot westerlies there just south of the western aleutians 9,000 feet uh, we've got strong flow up here to the north uh, or stronger flow 40 knots out of the west, north slope Arctic coast, 35 here into the Bering Strait, southeast 35 knots across the southwest part of the state. Picks back up to northerly, 45 knots across the Alaska Peninsula. Light winds under high pressure over the Bering, or over the, well, western Bering Sea. Most of the Aleutians, gets a little breezy with that next system farther to the west. And then good southwest flow here, right in across the central and southwest coast, 35 to or central southeast coast, 35 to 45 knots. And at 3,000 feet, that flow much lighter. In fact, uh, it's still southwest or west-southwest, but uh, not very strong at all there. 
Same thing over the much interior Alaska. We've got 30 knot northwest winds for the western Arctic coast. West northwest 25 to 35 knots there for the Yukon Kuskokwim Delta. Turning north at 40 knots across uh, the Alaska Peninsula in the Aleutian Range. And high pressure light variable winds for the central and eastern Aleutian areas. Turning more southerly there back to the west. And turbulence wise, Maybe uh, light to isolated, moderate turbulence possible here for the western central Arctic coast. And look for some uh, considerable moderate mechanical turbulence tomorrow for Kamishak Bay, Kodiak Island, the Aleutian Range all the way down to uh, maybe Sand Point or so.